A volcano has erupted in a national park. A scientist was driving through the park when he noticed smoke. While most visitors associate it with wild bison and the psychedelic colors of the Grand Prismatic Spring, much of Yellowstone National Park is actually a supervolcano. This geological term refers to a land area that has in the past, or has the potential to produce a powerful eruption of as much as 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material. The Yellowstone Plateau Volcanic Field stretches across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, and encompasses most but not all of the national park. While Yellowstone's most recent lava flow occurred more than 70,000 years ago, the park is home to more than 10,000 hydrothermal features, such as geysers, hot springs, and steam vents that periodically produce small-scale volcanic activity. On March 17th, the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, reported that geologists discovered a new volcanic vent producing steam in the summer of 2024. The vent sits at the foot of a lava flow and has a temperature of 171 degrees Fahrenheit, 77 Celsius. It has been billowing smoke for months since then, and it is one of many in the area. While driving south from Mammoth Hot Springs toward the Norris Geyser Basin early on August 5th last summer, a park scientist noticed a column of steam billowing through the trees and across a marshy expanse. Yellowstone National Park geologists Jefferson Hungerford and Kiernan Foles Donahue wrote in a blog post. The scientist enlisted the help of other team members and verified that it was indeed new. It is also possible that it was related to activity observed on the other side of the lava flow in March 2003. This hydrothermal activity continues today, but is much less intense than when it first formed, Hungerford and Foles Donahue wrote, quote, opening square bracket, you can draw a line along the axis of the older active area, and it will intersect the new feature. It also follows the trend of the fault that runs from the Norris Geyser Basin north to Mammoth Hot Springs and beyond. The smoke billowed for months, but eventually cleared when the weather turned cold. Despite its many volcanic features, Yellowstone remains a low-risk volcano because of its low concentration of magma reservoirs and its history of small eruptions. Any eruptions are felt as little more than a low rumble, but the geological history is evident in the many natural wonders that can be found throughout the park. Geyser, Mammoth Hot Springs, and several small volcanic vents that can be found on hikes and walks at various times of the year. As fall turns to winter, the steam plume slowly dissipates, the scientists wrote. The feature remains active, but there is less water in the vent, which reduces the amount of steam released. Whether the powerful plume will return in the summer of 2025 remains to be seen. <laughs>